Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 25th of 2024 is titled Fresh Tiger Stripes on Saturn's Enceladus. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the moons of Saturn known as Enceladus, and it is a interesting moon in that it has very distinct two distinct types of features on it. It has a heavily cratered region that we see up toward the upper right hand side. And you can see a lot of craters there. And it has regions of tiger stripes and the striped regions. Now you'll note that the striped regions don't have any craters. Well, what does that mean? Well, you might think it just means it just never happens to have gotten hit by any meteors. But that doesn't make a sense because things will get hit pretty much uniformly. And it doesn't matter where they are in the solar system or what part of the object they are. Pretty much everything would be uniformly cratered. What causes things not to be cratered is when surfaces are reworked. And that can occur through a number of different processes. On Earth, we have weathering and erosion that would wear out craters. We also have plate tectonics and volcanic activity that can wipe out craters. So what is happening on Enceladus here? Well, we see that ice is ends up being spewed from the bottom there, which may be throwing material out and perhaps covering up and filling in those craters which had previously formed. And that look makes a little sense there, because if you look at the craters very close to the edge of the boundary between those two regions, those craters look much more faded out, kind of filled in by material. So if you have volcanoes erupting icy material in the outer solar system, that could wipe out the craters that we see that would have once been present on other parts of this moon. Now, why is a specific moon active? And that's a really good question. We tend to think of moons that are active that would be very large because even our own moon, which is one of the larger moons in the solar system, is very inactive. It has very little activity and has not had it for billions of years. The other thing that can cause it is tidal forces between the planet and other moons within that system. This happens with Jupiter's Io, which is twisted between Jupiter and some of the larger moons as well. So it ends up being a very hot interior, which causes a lot of volcanic eruptions. The interesting thing with this one is that there that Mimas, which is another moon nearby and a similar size, is pretty much completely cratered and doesn't show signs of activity. So what is the difference between these two? And that's a good question that we don't know for sure. But one of the interesting things we have found with Enceladus is that we find organic molecules in it in the eruption of material that comes out. Now an organic molecule is not a living molecule. It's not not a piece of life. What it is is a complex a chain of carbon. And that is what our bodies end up being made up of. Carbon forms very long chains. But you can have organic molecules that are not necessarily meaning that there's life there. But it does give us some hope that maybe Beneath the icy surface of this moon, there is a great liquid ocean of water that would possibly be able to support life. And of course, future missions traveling out to some of these moons may be able to get better samples and be able to confirm that if there is or is not life on one of these moons. So that was our picture of the day for August 25th of 2024. It was titled Fresh Tiger Stripes on Saturn's Enceladus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sky Wows. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.